Hey, it's Mike from 424recording.com, and in today's video, we're taking a look at what happens when you record with the treble overemphasized and then take it out in post, hopefully reducing the hiss of whatever you're recording on your four track. So this is a method that's been kicking around since the beginning of the channel. A lot of people have asked about this method and how to do it. And I had personally never done it because I never had too many issues with there being excess hiss on my four track recordings. But so basically the idea is if you record something with the treble overemphasized on a four track recorder, I'm assuming also on a tape, uh, reel to reel recorder. In post, you can then turn down the treble or whatever EQs that you've overemphasized, hopefully taking a lot of the hiss along with that overemphasization that you've recorded. Basically, by overemphasizing the highs, you're recording extra treble, I guess, I'm assuming, in a way that you normally wouldn't want to. So then in post, when you take it out, along with that treble comes the hiss. Let's see if this works and let's see what we got from these drums that I recorded. Well, I hope this video gives you a good idea of what happens when you record with the treble overemphasized and then take it out via EQ. I'm excited to try this on a few different other instruments and do some comparisons, so stay tuned for some more videos about overemphasizing the treble as you're recording and then taking it out. Have you ever recorded with the treble overemphasized and what has been the result? I would love to hear if this is a, a tactic or a technique that you use in your own recordings. Leave us a comment below. Let, let me know how it works out for you. I'd love to hear your stories about overemphasizing the treble. This is Mike from 424recording.com. Godspeed, my friends. Don't forget to do something you want to do today, all right? Even if it's record really loud, splashy drums in your friend's basement. It's a whole heck of a lot of fun. I had a blast doing it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you nerd. And thanks to everybody who suggested this video and over the course of the past year i know it's been one on the back burner and i'm glad i finally was able to to knock it out so stay tuned for more videos on overemphasizing the treble i think it's going to be a fun series catch you on the flip-flop all right peace